Autism is a difference in the brain. It's a neurological condition that affects how people perceive the world and interact with others. This difference can manifest in various ways, influencing behavior, communication, and sensory experiences. People with autism may think, learn, and interact differently. They might have unique ways of processing information and responding to their environment. This can include challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, and specific interests or activities. Imagine a puzzle with a piece that fits a little differently. Each piece is essential to complete the picture, but some pieces might need a bit more understanding to find their place. That's kind of like autism. It's about finding the right fit and appreciating the unique contributions each person brings to the whole. Some people with autism are very quiet. They might prefer solitude and find comfort in being alone, where they can focus on their thoughts and interests without distraction. Others might talk a lot. Some like routines, others don't. They might enjoy engaging in conversations and sharing their passions with others. The way they communicate can be as varied as their personalities. There's a big spectrum, like a rainbow with many colors. Autism is often described as a spectrum because it includes a wide range of characteristics and abilities. Just like no two rainbows are the same, no two people with autism are identical. Each person with autism is unique and special. They have their own strengths, challenges, and ways of seeing the world. This diversity is what makes the autism community so rich and vibrant. It's important to remember that people with autism are just as different from each other as anyone else. They have their own personalities, interests, and ways of connecting with others. There's no one right way to be autistic. Embracing these differences helps us create a more inclusive and understanding world for everyone. Doctors use a book called the DSM-5-TR to help them figure out if someone has autism. They look for two main things. Differences in social interaction and communication. Repetitive behaviors and interests. For example, a child with autism might not make eye contact or understand jokes. They might flap their hands or line up their toys in a certain way. The World Health Organization, WHO, also says autism is a difference in brain development. They say it affects how a person communicates and interacts with the world. The HO stresses that early support is really important for people with autism. They need help to learn and grow. How can you tell if someone might have autism? Autism spectrum disorder can present itself in many different ways, and it can be challenging to recognize the signs. Here are some signs to look out for. One of the most common signs is trouble making eye contact or understanding facial expressions. Children with autism might avoid looking directly at people, which can make social interactions more difficult. Another sign is difficulty making friends or playing with other children. They might prefer to play alone or have trouble understanding the rules of games, which can lead to feelings of isolation. Repeating words or phrases over and over again, known as echolalia, is also a common sign. This can be a way for them to process information or express themselves. Children with autism often get upset by changes in routine. They might have a strong need for consistency and predictability, and any deviation from their usual schedule can cause distress. They may also have strong attachments to certain objects or routines. This can include carrying a favorite toy everywhere or engaging in repetitive activities that provide comfort. Remember, these are just some common signs. Autism is a spectrum, and each individual is unique. Some children may show many of these signs, while others may only show a few. Not everyone with autism will have all of these signs. It's important to understand that autism can manifest in a variety of ways, and early recognition can lead to better support and resources for those who need it. Section 5. Early help is important. Getting help early is really important for kids with autism. Early intervention can help them learn important skills like talking, playing, and interacting with others. Think of it like building a bridge. The earlier you start, the stronger the bridge will be. Early intervention can make a big difference in the lives of people with autism. Section 6. Challenges faced by individuals with ASD. Living with Autism Spectrum Disorder or ASD presents unique challenges that can affect various aspects of daily life. People with ASD might find some things harder than others. Simple tasks that many take for granted can become significant hurdles. 
They might have trouble understanding social cues, like when someone is being sarcastic. This can make social interactions confusing and sometimes stressful. Sensory input, like loud noises or bright lights, might bother them. These sensory sensitivities can lead to discomfort or even pain, making it difficult to focus or stay calm. It's important to be patient and understanding. Offering support and showing empathy can make a significant difference in their experience. Imagine trying to navigate a world that feels overwhelming to your senses. Crowded places, unexpected sounds and bright lights can all contribute to a sense of overload. That's what it can be like for some individuals with ASD. They often have to develop coping strategies to manage these challenges, and the support of those around them is crucial. Finding ways to create a calm and predictable environment can help. Activities that provide a sense of routine and stability can be particularly beneficial. With the right support and understanding, individuals with ASD can thrive and lead fulfilling lives. It's all about recognizing their unique needs and providing the right kind of assistance. Section 7. Life Skills and Support Strategies People with ASD can learn and grow throughout their lives. There are many ways to help them develop life skills and find support. Visual schedules can make routines easier. Social skills groups can teach them how to interact with others. Remember, everyone learns differently. It's important to find what works best for each individual. Section 8. Acceptance and Understanding The most important thing is to treat people with autism with kindness and respect. They are just like everyone else. They want to be accepted and loved for who they are. Let's create a world where everyone feels understood and valued.